What's up guys, the Bobcat here, and welcome back to Path of Exile, Fall of Wrath. Last time, we defeated the Brian King, and are now in Act, what, uh, seven. So, before we talk to everyone, because there's going to be a lot of dialogue in this first little bit, we'll quickly level up. Now, what was I working towards? Clearly this. So, we'll grab that. I'm pretty sure that's what we're going towards. After all, the chaos damage is what we really do need at this point. So, now, I'm going to mute myself while we talk to absolutely everyone in this place. And that's uh, it's going to be a lot of talking. So, I will be right back once we've finished discussing it. Probably with these two first, then we'll talk a little bit more and head over there to listen to them. So, we'll be quiet and, well, we'll listen to everyone. What'll I do now? This here broken bridge speaks to me some. A fair place to rest my old bones for a bit. And tell you what, with all this sunlight and fresh air, I can feel the calling forth of the poetic muse beneath me trousers. Been a long time since I felt this here compass point in any direction. Now, speaking of navigations and the like, a long time ago, I had me a nice collection of riches stuffed away in a lockbox. Being the stupid ass that I am, I buried the thing one eve when I was high in my cups. Can't for the death of me remember where I... Except, I knew it was near this broken bridge. The box has a silver locket in it. It holds the portrait of my late wife, Meredith. It's the last thing I have in this world to remember her by. If you happen across my lockbox in your travels, I'd be appreciating of its return. It's a bit of an embarrassing affair, truth be told. Thought I could return to the golden days, you know. Be a terror of the high seas like in my youth. <laughs> Problem was, they'd all forgotten me. Those young blighters sailing about, they had no clue who I even were. Figured if I could complete another great feat, like slaying that sea bitch Mervale, maybe that had earned me my respect back. <sighs> Suppose I don't need to tell you, that girl is stronger than she looks. All it took were one slip of the old hands, and next I knew the Black Crest wrecked against the coast, and I'm getting myself eaten alive by that hag. Peeled each separate muscle from my bones, she did. I tell you, it weren't pretty. I, I know Lily be missing me something great, and it cuts me deep not to go visit the lass. Thing is, I reckon she should remember me as I was. Not wretch at the sight of the spectre I be now. Let the legend live on in her mind, I say. Think of the worst place ye can imagine. That's Pondium. Now think of the gods be damned best whorehouse you've ever had the pleasure of. <laughs> That's Pondium. A pirate paradise, full of bodies to stab, holes to fill, and devious liquor to imbibe. Brine rots control the whole island, and make sure it lives up to the lowest of expectations. Can't imagine much has changed since I was there last. Still, it's a good place to swash your buckle, and make love to a bawdy, buxom punter out back of a boozy bar. Aye, them brine rods be a nasty bunch. Led by me very own flesh and blood, me baby sister Lucy. The rot mother, they call her now. Used to be that I were their leader, back when the brine rods were about one thing, and one thing only, raiding, pillaging, and plundering their scrawny black goods out. Old Lucy were me first mate for years. But she got a whiff of the power that being captain could gain her and mutineered me, me own sister. 
Drop me on some deserted island of the coast of somewhere. Uh, bitch. Took months to make it back to the mainland. That brine rot clan's been trouble ever since. Used to have some good old-fashioned pirate on them. And now, they're raving mad lunatics out for their next fix of fear and fortune. Fair wind! Judging by that rather curious ship and its aberrant captain, I imagine you had rather an interesting voyage here. Now, Inquisitor Maligaro. We must have a soul. He has most certainly returned to his old haunt, yet his manifestations are like wisps on the wind. They are one moment, gone the next. While I am familiar with the phantasmal trails and tributaries that filigree this reality, Meligaro's exact whereabouts salutes me. You should speak with these desperates who cling to this broken bridge, that young Templar scholar in particular. Their mundane knowledge must provide where my enlightened sapiens cannot. There was a time before the beast, bathed in the shadows of lost memory, when men and women like you could ascend. Through rareness of quality and the adoration of their people, these few could reach out into the quickening mists of immortality and grasp the power of godhood. Mind you, transcendence is never easy. Like the pains of childbirth, it reeks of agony, tragedy, and sacrifice. The sacrifice most often being of one's humanity. That is simply the way of it. Those of us who seek the immortal throne live long enough to see ourselves become truly monstrous. I like Willem Roth a lot, and I like the voice actor as well. I think they did a really good job. So now we have more dialogue. Ugh, so much talking. I still haven't even done the, uh, what you call them, the masters for this day. So I need to do that as well. Although we're not going to do it on camera because that would be horrid. <laughs> and we don't really have enough time. I mean, we're already, what, seven minutes in? So let's talk to, uh, what is it, Emir? Then Yina, then Helena. I'm surprised they haven't done any model changing for her. She could really do with getting a new shoe. Anyway, let's just chat with them all. Go on, turn off. Ah, yes. You do seem to have a penchant for presenting yourself when times are at their most uh, perplexing. It would seem that our Almighty has forsaken us. False deities from ages past now rise and ravage while our blessed innocence remains as silent as the stones at my feet. So much for Templar propaganda, eh? Well, I suppose if we are to fend for ourselves, then I should answer your troubling arrival with our own most pressing tribulation. The relic that washed ashore and started all the chaos. It was covered in ancient Val inscriptions. The symbols were much weathered, making them challenging to translate. Yet I did my best. The inscriptions spoke of the god Ralakesh. If this object somehow housed the spirit of that many-faced monstrosity, then I fear we are all in danger. Ralakesh was renowned for his penchant for subjugation and control. Please, I urge you to destroy this god before his strength and dominance grow insurmountable. Nip this divine threat in the bud, as it were. Our poor friend, Grust, has likely become Ralikesh's avatar in this world. At least his recent behavior would indicate as much. If you could see to Grust's passing, Ralikesh will be forced to retreat into the relic. Destroy the relic, and perhaps you will also destroy the god. Yes. Ralikesh, the god of many faces. I read about this god when I looked after the museum in Theopolis. It said he was obsessed with governance, in particular the control of humanity through our base animal instincts. He ruled over the citizens of one unfortunate Val city. 
Unless the name escapes me. Yet I do recall that his experiments brought his subjects to the brink of extinction, and that he was forced to enslave many a primitive Asmerian of the time so as to repopulate his domain. Though I shudder at the thought, I can only imagine that Ralikesh has rather similar plans now. Um, okay, looks like we're just gonna have to read this one. Because apparently there's no voice acting for it, or either that or it's just a bug, which wouldn't surprise me. Well, to be fair, there really shouldn't be any bugs at this point, but whatever. I guess I could always unload and reload and we can try and listen to it then. Uh, we'll just have to read it. But I don't really want to because it's going to be long. Oh well. Uh. Okay. You're just gonna have to read that in your own time. That's all I can say about that one. So I'm gonna be quiet again and hopefully this one will actually have some dialogue to it. A fascinating case that flies in the face of all that is natural. Whalem is undead for sure. Something we have in spades in Rayclast. But a sentient, reasonable ghost? Now that is rare indeed. When we talk, I feel as if I'm staring into the breach, witnessing that which man was not meant to know. I have theorized about what animates the pirate's essence, how he manages to manifest on this earth once again. I think I shall compile my observations and speculations into a book. Yes, Eremir's Elucidations of Undeath. Has a nice ring to it, don't you think? Fare you well. You arrive. The great spirit spoke in my dreams, told me that darkness would again drown our lands, and you, exile, would walk before the flood. But what is this? You are not alone. A shade, a memory, older even than. No, older than spirit? Fear grips my throat. I shake, but the spirit drapes a warming cloak upon my shoulders. This ancient ghost that follows you, it has the trust of the spirit. And if the spirit trusts, then I trust. My heart weeps for our old home. But what the spirit gives, we must embrace. The spirit, it claims who it needs to, when it needs to. There is no sense in sadness. I watch Silk for many days, scurrying to this old Val stone, scurrying to that old Val ruin, always muttering. He talked and talked and talked, yet I heard no one answer. The spirit warned that I should stay away from him. It pained me. Silk is my friend, yet I must listen to spirit. I go from Silk's side, and now he is gone from mine. I do not know where Silk go. But I see him in dreams. He is caught in great spider web that stretch into darkness. And that spider web? It is full of bones. More bones from more people than I ever see in my life. If you find Silk, please free him from the web. Don't let him become bones like the rest. Rayclast has changed. Once, I knew my place in this world. I knew my place within the spirit. Now, doorways have opened. Doorways I can neither see nor touch, but through which the spiritless ones pass all the same. The spiritless ones must be driven back. Their doors must be closed. May the great spirit guide you in your battles against these ancients that mean us nothing but ill. I belong to no one but the spirit. I have no need for the sweet words and caresses of a ghost. Whalem, he makes me laugh, and he hears the voice of the spirit. Not in the same way I do. 
The spirit speaks of the great waters beyond this land. He pays heed to the spirit, and the spirit loves him for it. I do not. It is better to speak to the dead than no one at all. Wellem knows the spirit, but he will not know me. Turn your back for the barest moment and Rayclast bites you in the proverbial. I imagine that's how you're feeling upon visiting us this time. It's how I feel about now. I'm afraid that the Inquisitor's spirit has indeed returned to the Chamber of Sins. Yet while you won't encounter Melagaro by wandering his halls, I do perhaps know how you can find him. Whilst investigating the Fell Shrine, I learned of the existence of a map forged by Melagaro from his own viscera. This map allowed him to transfer his spirit into another form of existence, an existential safe house to which he could retreat should death ever attempt to take him. Understanding the map's purpose, Vol tried to destroy it, to no avail. So he locked it away deep within the ruins of Frisia Cathedral. Find that map and place it upon the reverie device in Melagaro's old laboratory. And when you step over that threshold, expect the very worst. Don't get me wrong, I've witnessed many unsettling things in my lifetime, but a spectral corsair living next door to me? We reside in dark times indeed when the living need share their quarters with the dead. I didn't think it possible for silk to grow any more peculiar, but then I've been wrong about so many things since coming to Rayclast that I shouldn't have been at all surprised. Still, it's interesting that his behavior of late has mirrored that of certain Templar zealots I had the dubious pleasure of meeting back in Theopolis. Like them, Silk appeared obsessed with finding answers to this reality in some ethereal realm of divinity. For my part, I prefer to keep faith in this world. The answers that come from beyond are seldom the ones we want. My poor Groost. A kind man. A strong man. And now, I begged him not to meddle with that relic. It washed ashore after the earthquake and Groost simply had to know whether it was a danger to us, to me. The unholy thing within that device. It possessed Groost, turned him into a monstrosity. We fled the village and as I turned back, I saw he was killing them. The stragglers, killing them all, even the children. My Groost is dead. That thing that has stolen his body. Please, destroy it. I'm aware that you and Groost had something of a commercial relationship prior to his... accident. As is the Asmeri custom, Groost's few possessions have now passed to me. I'm by no means the warrior he was, yet I know my blades and bows well enough. At least it's something I can do to honor his memory, and to keep my mind off things. Yay, Fair all the dialogue's now. finally done. Greetings. Interesting to hear it all, certainly. But it did take us 18 minutes. So, now that we've got all that done... Oh, God, really? Oh, <sighs> oh God. Looks like it's not all done Here just yet. Divide. Yeah. I'll be quiet again while we finish this off. Not about to just leave it. Even I want to hear it. It's just... You know, recording and all. Let us go hunting, this time amongst the ruins of an encampment most familiar to you, once inhabited by your friends, the Asmeri. Hmm, Ralakish. He's ruthless and cruel with cunning unfathomable, yet he bears one defining weakness, a fear he forged into chains of his own keeping. His is the terror of grasping too much and having it all slip through his fingers. It makes him irrational and therefore vulnerable. Rala Kesh, the illustrious master of a million faces. I call him the god of hide and seek, while other deities waged wars, spread their seed, and laid waste to whole empires. Rala Kesh perched on his throne in a dark palace of ebony, choked with incense, blinded by obedience, and deafened by a senseless cacophony of brass gongs. Thankfully, he never had the courage to peek over the high walls he built, else the world might have been in trouble. Good to see you still kicking. 
Ina's a pretty young thing, ain't she? Bosoms to eclipse the sun she has. Eh. Might be that I spent some time here. Get to know the lass a tad more. Never mind that she's young and alive and I be... Uh, old and dead. Once she hears me poetry, that is. Not a girly alive who won't want for a bit of the old rot tooth once he breaks out the uh, tongue twisters and word plays. <laughs> Not that she'd likely hold much interest in an old ghost like me. Still, a man can dream, even a dead one. Ah, that lassie. Pretty on the eyes, I reckon. But she's got her knickers pulled up far too high. Bit uptight, if you ask me. Elamir, though he's a tad dull, tends to ramble on a bit. Still, he's a few interesting stories of his own. So might be worth chewing the fat with from time to time. Now we should be done. About dying. I hope. So, Fare you well. let's go and try and find his locket then, I guess, and kill Groost. I like how the story went in Act 2 that Groost was really um, suspicious of uh, Helena the whole time. And yet now they were, well, in between what happened in Act 2 and to what happened in the end of Act 5, I guess, they essentially became lovers. And then the silk with this thing for spiders. Hmm. Well, here's a question. Where is... Oh, the lock is definitely in this area. Okay, then. I want to make sure of that. Didn't want to just end up clearing an entire area for no reason. Oh, it's actually been a while since I played. You may have noticed the lack of videos these last two days, I want to say it was two. I hope it's been two. But yeah, I made, I made a pretty bad decision and I suffered for it with a terrible, terrible lack of sleep and because of that I just just didn't really feel like recording at all and you know I didn't want to record and I was like Whoa, I've been up for 16 hours or something stupid or however long I've been awake even though 16 hours is about what you're supposed to be awake in a day anyway uh, oh everyone's here excellent God bless you on this fine yeah, day. Nice to see you two. It's been a while since I've found one outside of the uh, hideout. It's quite refreshing. Death. What Any is it then? Now, this... Just stand here and defend it. Perfect. Who knows, might be able to even level up off this. Though I'm a little concerned because I've noticed they're starting to do a lot more damage to the relics recently. And that has me scared because there has been times in the past where I have failed to... Uh, protect the relics. Though that one was on a different character that was not any sort of official build. It was just me messing around for however many hours I played that character. So, this one probably will make it just fine. But, I'm still a bit concerned about potentially failing. Looks like my concerns were slightly unfounded. It's us or them, Crusader. Well, oh, let's try and find um, Willem's treasures. What is that? Hypothermia support. Okay. Hmm. I wonder what sort of enemies we'll come across in, as we're going through these areas. I kind of want to find out if we'll do anything with the uh, with the woman from. At from the town in Act 2, you know, the ruined one where she left four notes written on wood. I wonder if any of those sorts of things are going to appear. What is that? It's a tormented something, but what is it? And where is it, more to the point? Oh, there it is. It's a tormented warlord. Yeah, that's right. Now you're stuck in a corner. Sure, it's nice and small. In fact, the most we've got at the moment is all chromatic. So we'll be heading through there later. The cro is it Crosslands? Oh, Crossroads. And that's where the town was, actually. Hmm. I'm interested to find out what's changed. Uh, I won't take the crystal wand. 
I think I mentioned this previously, but I already did messing around with that to try and get the spell damage, and just nothing can beat this 40% I've got on mine, at least at the moment. Maybe once I level the master up some more, I'll be able to put ones from like 30 to 37, which will hopefully go to like 38 to 40, whatever, and I'll be able to put some of them on. Some of the crystal ones, and hopefully actually get our spell damage upgrade. I will say a lot of the ones always seem to get the increased spell damage from, or increased uh, gem level for cold gems or whatever that I don't often find very useful considering, you know, I do chaos damage primarily. Oh great, it's one of those onslaught ones. I was wondering why they weren't dying. Well, this is a problem. Oh, never mind, they're all dead. Looks like the contagion got him in the end. I've got to make sure to use my blight as well. Could come in handy against big enemies like that. Quickly rack up all the chaos ticks on them. Or dots, depending on which one you want to choose. Oh, look at these tiny earth golems. Or rubble golems, I guess they are. Oh dear. That stings a little. That's the strain leveled up though. Which is good. Let's have a look at it. So, oh, that must have been one of the arcane support gems. So, 2333.9, 2, 2811.6. Yeah, that's an increase, alright. And I love it. Oh. Having hicc hiccups now, which isn't good. Just eating, uh, just eating tea, so. A bit gassy. Now then, let's see where, come on, where is this place with Willem's treasure? We're 27 minutes in already, Jesus. I want to at least get this done. You know, at least that way I can say we've made some progress. Rather than, you know, just listening to people talk for 20 minutes. Which, you know, it wasn't bad, I mean, it was pretty good voice acting. And I like the characters. Oh, hello. I think that's the treasure. After all, why would there be an exclamation mark there if it wasn't? Let's see. Yep, it is. Can I? I can't. From Willem to Meredith, I shall love thee as I love the sea. Cool. And we should hopefully be able to get to the next area as well. So we'll go stand by the gate and then we'll open the portal there. Okay, you can just, you know, do that. I just noticed those skeletons are called bandits. So these must be the, uh, yeah, the uh, disbanded dead. These must be the guys we killed back in Act 2. That's interesting. So let's quickly jump back to the bridge. And then we'll talk to Whalem again and I will be quiet while I do so. Me look it! <laughs> Oh, me darling, me beautiful Meredith. How I miss your shuddering bosoms, your quivering thighs. <gasps> she had a heart to melt an iceberg and teeth. Here our ways divide. I apologize for skipping that, but my headphones are breaking and the volume just completely cut out for me, so I'm not even sure if you could hear it. Me to the depths, Can I get that again? Me favorite I can't. God damn it, headphones, why they, did you have to do that? Oh, that's annoyed me now. I'll just have to read what I come when I look back through the video. Damn it, that's really annoyed me. If you're thinking about dying. Give me the damn reward. God damn headphones, I'm gonna need to get some new ones. The wires are all like. The wire is like completely split open and you can see all the internal wires and I keep pulling on them accidentally. Even though I did nothing then, like, I didn't even touch it. Give me the jade flask I guess. Here are ways to I'm upset about that. I was looking forward to listening to what you had to say. Well, let's go to the crossroads and try and find the waypoint here. I'm really annoyed at that. 
But I don't even know if you could hear it because the audio cut out for me and I don't know if it records from the game or if it records from my headphones. I assume the game, but you can never be too sure. I should have just left it to run out, but I was hoping I could listen to it again because sometimes you can. Alas, not. Which is a shame. Oh, here's the uh, windmill at least. I'm just gonna have to read up what that description was on like the wiki page or something. Here's the church that had the uh, skeleton guy in it. The skeleton guy with the hammer, I forget what he was called. Now then, let's quickly burn through all these and try and find the damn waypoint. Because I need to end the video now, because we've gone over. Let's see. Waypoint, there it is. It's obviously in the middle of the crossroads. So, I hope you all have enjoyed, and I will see you all next time.